So one day when I was playing the Insane Trilogy on stream, I died in the first level from the wizard, you know, when he turns you into a frog. Then it had me thinking, what if I was the frog? What if I kissed the enemy until they died? Since Cortex is responsible for damn near everything Crash Bandicoot has to go through, he can restrict Cratch's movement in certain levels. What if we couldn't just run down the path and finish a level? Easy. Turn the table on the enemy. Remember the wizard that turned you into a bat in Crash 4? Well, what if I could fly around in certain areas in the level that only the bat can access after being turned into one? Sure, you could do things the normal way, but for the sake of keeping things fresh, it'd add more to the gameplay giving the title more replay value. I honestly feel like as a character, Crash Bandicoot hasn't had his full potential shown yet. Everyone thinks Crash is stupid to the point where he's useless, and while yes, he's not the smartest character ever, he knows how to use things to his advantage when he can and creatively, I might add. Name someone else that knows how to use a helicopter pack, a mech suit, can go back to a different dimension to get a machine to destroy another machine, owns a bazooka, can tie a school bus to a blimp, and can manifest life energy known as Mojo to enhance his abilities. Crash Bandicoot is a character that I see with a lot of potential that can be utilized in new titles but unfortunately is hindered by nostalgia blinded restricting type fans I feel. And unfortunately, games such as The Wrath of Cortex, Entranced, The Huge Adventure, and Crash Nitro Kart don't even help because they are just copy and paste games of the Naughty Dog games, essentially. Don't get me wrong, you can't abandon what makes a character iconic, but you gotta do more with the character so then they're not stagnant. Just like how you have to take risks and challenge yourself to do bigger and better things, video game characters are no different and that includes Crash. In order to stray away from what makes a character iconic is by not doing what makes that character iconic at all. That's why I feel like this game and that game is overlooked. At this point, I'm just going to become a broken record so I'm going to just leave it off with this. Crash Bandicoot, my old nemesis. How the heck are you? Still gathering crystals? Old habits die hard, don't they? Oh yeah, let's hope that Crash can actually utilize 100% of things in the next game and not be underutilized like a trash death battle that had him only use like 5 or 2% of what was listed. And let's also hope that, you know, invincibility actually works as invincibility instead of being broken into insanity, as well as not being used at all in a certain trash battle too. Later.